Hey guys, it's Elena with Bear in Mind Planner Company back with another tutorial. This time we are going to learn how to create your very own stamp in Procreate. So let's get into it. Making your own stamp as a customized brush in Procreate is actually easier than you think. Go ahead and make sure you have Procreate downloaded. It's $9.99 in the App Store, iOS. We're gonna open up Procreate here. I'm gonna hit plus. And you know me, I like to use 3000 by 3000 pixels with 300 DPI, so that's what I'm going to choose here. Open this up. We have our blank white canvas here. As you can see, I just have one layer on. My background is white. We can leave it at there for now. First off, I want you to go to Calligraphy under your brush library, and I want you to choose Monoline. Now you can pick any brush that you prefer. This is just one that I like because it has a very hard edge. You can use others that have texture if that's what you want in your stamp. But today I'm going to choose Monoline. Streamlines at 90%. That's because I've customized that. Now I want you to choose black, and again to choose pure black, double tap down here at the bottom you'll get pure black you can add that to your palette same with white double tap add that to your palette so you can draw anything you would like to today I'm going to get out my drawing guide I'm gonna edit my drawing guide I'm gonna go about there increase the opacity and hit done I'm gonna do an arrow just something simple all right, so I have black selected and I have monoline as my brush. Um, I have it pretty big. It's at, we'll just 80 ish percent. I don't even know. There's 80. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to drag this over, straight line, straight line, and And if you need to do any little cleanup, now's the time to do it before you create your stamp. And so there's a nice arrow. And that will definitely be useful in my planner. I'm just going in and cleaning up some areas just to make sure it's what I like and uh, so now I'm going to add another layer and I'm going to choose white go back to my layers on this second layer I'm going to tap it and hit fill layer now my arrow went away because my filled layer with white is behind it or on top of it I want it behind it and then I'm going to merge down now what I want to do is click on the merged layer and I want to copy this all right now this is where we are going to create our own brush um, I've created a another brush library option um, custom stamp you can hit add and create any uh, named library that you want you can also rename it or delete it I'm going to continue staying in custom stamp here and then I'm going to hit the plus symbol. Now over here, since we have copied the shape that we wanted, we want to go to shape and go to edit. Make sure you are in landscape mode because you won't have all of these options. If you're in portrait mode, so go ahead and turn your iPad to landscape, you're going to hit import and paste. There is our shape that we just created. And I want you to take two fingers and tap on it. That's going to invert it. If you originally put a black background and drew with white, then you would not have to invert it. So 
up to you on how you want to do that. I'm gonna hit done. And now here is my shape. You can see this changed a little bit and that will look more like our shape in just a few minutes. So now that we have our shape done, I want you to come down here to uh, properties and I want you to increase your maximum size. And this is something you'll need to play with. So let's see, let's go 800% ish, jump back down. And my minimum size, I'm going to increase this just a little bit as well. We'll go to 25%. The other thing I want you to do is use stamp preview. I want you to click that on. And what that's gonna do is it's going to use our shape as our preview. And so, whoop, I double clicked. There it is. There's our stamp. So you can draw on this and you can click on it and hit clear drawing pad. And there is our stamp. So you can go back over here to shape and see your stamp. And if you went to properties in the preview, you can increase this or decrease this. They're sitting at, well, 19% now. But there is our brush we added in. Now we can add another layer. I have white selected, so we can grab any color we want to. We'll grab a blue. And I will deselect that image. <clears throat> we'll increase this all the way to max. And I'll show you, there is our stamp. And you can decrease the size and make a smaller stamp. Increase the size and make an even tinier stamp. And you can use this even as a brush now. It is it is a brush, It we're just using it as a stamp. So that's the only difference. Now what's cool is that you can do this with anything that you draw, but it doesn't have to be just for drawing. You can jump over here to Keynotes and say I want this box as an image. Um, what I'm going to do is, let's see, are those, yeah, those are two uh, shapes on top of each other. So I'm going to click on the purple and I'm going to change that color to black. I'm going to click on that one, click on this one. I'm going to hit copy, jump back over to Procreate. I can add another layer, swipe down with three fingers, hit paste. There is my image that I just took from Keynote. I'm going to increase the size and center it the best that I can. And we are going to fill this layer, bring that under. And you can also, that never works for me, swish them together. I just use Merge Down. <laughs> and we can copy it, go back over here to my custom stamps, hit plus, go to shape, edit, import, paste, double tap with two, or tap with two fingers, hit done, go to properties, use stamp preview. I'm going to increase the maximum size. Again, probably around 800 minimum size. We'll bring that to about 30 ish. And clear the drawing pad. Use my pen here. And there is my stamp. Just like that, I have another stamp that I can use. And now just because we've done this in black, Again, doesn't mean it has to be black. You can customize these colors to anything that you want for your planner or anything that you want for a drawing. All right, guys, I hope this helped uh, teach you something new and fun to play with. So test it out, see what you think. So give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll see you soon.